welcome to the final chapter of the campaign. I got a bit of a sugar rush now because I was munching on some stuff while waiting to convert the video of me going through the level up process, which I thought was far too... Uh, it took about 15 minutes, I think. Yeah, far too long for an actual video recording. So I just made a level up example video out of that. And then made me sick. I am fully prepared now. Fully prepared. You must speak with Lord Nasher. Once you have spoken with him, you may return and speak to me. Very well, Aaron again. I, I find it weird. We again. As you know, I am Nasher Alagonda, Lord of Neverwinter. I find it weird that he tries to say, I am Lord Nasher, when you meet him in the at the end of the first chapter. Eren Gend tells me you have done much in the defense of our city. For this I thank you, though I fear it was only vain. Erebeth knows our defenses too well. We could not stand against her forces. The enemy has breached our walls. All is lost. <laughs> Do not give up hope, my lord. We still have the words of power, after all. And what good has that done? We have no way to use them. Whatever magic is locked within those stone tablets is of no use to us. Perhaps Hadrilene will reveal their secret to us, if you release her from the dungeons. I don't trust that creature, Eren, and neither should you. We have done her no harm. If she was truly our ally, she would tell us what she knows. Hadrilene told us about the secret door beneath Castle Never. Without her, we would never have found the Source Stone. And what good has that done him? That creature won't tell us anything about it. The Source Stone is as useless to us as the words of power. Perhaps Hadrilene will speak to our champion. She has spoken with them before. Enough, Eren. Now, if you want to speak to Hadrilene, you are free to do so. But I will not release her from the dungeon while an enemy is within our city gates. Personally, I think this is all a waste of time. Words of power, the Source Stone, Hadrilene. What good is this against Erebeth's army? Our fate is sealed. We are all doomed. Man, this guy's just a fucking mood killer. After all you have done for the city, the least I can do is answer your questions. Although Gend probably knows more than I do, the reports are grim. In the initial assault, Luskan overwhelmed us with sheer numbers and the unbridled ferocity of their attack. The defenders were forced to fall back to the city core. Erebeth knew our defenses too well, never stood a chance. My troops are loyal, but against such odds, there's little hope. Hmm. It's only a matter of time until Castle Never itself falls. It is too late for that, I fear. Our defenses are all... If Erebeth and Mogram were both slain, there is a chance it might break the spirits of the Luskan invaders. But I wouldn't count on it. The Luskans attacked with a rage and ferocity I have never seen before. Some sinister force drives our enemies forward. Or perhaps this is justice of a sort. Never the blood of Fenthic is on my hands. After the plague, the mob cried for blood, and I gave it to them. Fenthic was guilty only of trusting Dester, who was no enemy of Neverwinter. And yet I saw him hanged for failing to protect the city, as was his sworn duty. Can we really be so surprised Erebeth betrayed us after we executed her lover? I fear it is too late for that. Fenthic is dead, and Erebeth... Perhaps if I were given the chance to pass, but I fear that chance shall never come. Of course, of course. But before you go, I doubt it will do much good, but maybe, just maybe, she knows something that can save us. We're desperate, after all. Well, he has some sense, information you come across should be 
These are indeed dark times, though not so dark as Lord Nasher portrays them. The people of Neverwinter are made of sterner stuff than any of us imagine. I like this guy, the the king of the whole of the whole city, uh, the or lord, the lord of the whole city, is like quaking, like our our doom is nigh. And he's like, man, the hell, uh, we're be we're better than this. But if Neverwinter is to survive, we must all play our part. My place is here by Lord Nash's side. I must oversee every aspect of the defense of the city. And your own part is one you know all too well. You must save Neverwinter once more. Though how you might accomplish this, I cannot say. Perhaps the creature Hadrian knows something of this. I once knew every secret in this city. But these are turbulent. She arrived here shortly after the third word of power was de After Erebeth's betrayal, he has grown overly cautious. And I fear it has made Hadrian mistrust. Maybe you could try speaking to her. She's locked away in the castle dungeon. Just, I'll do my best to help you. Lord Nasher gave them to Master Ford, chief archaeologist of Neverwinter. He believes there is a link between the words and the source stone. But Master Ford has not been able to learn anything more about the words of power or the Source Stone, unfortunately. Ever since we unearthed the stone beneath the castle, Master Ford has spent all his time studying it. You can speak to him yourself if you want to know more. Although I suspect you would find talking to Hadrian more productive. I'll do my best to help you. Things have calmed since the initial onslaught. The defenders fell back to the city core. But I do not know how long we will be able to hold it. We are badly outnumbered, and Erebeth knew every inch of this city. All her knowledge is being used against us now. I doubt it would help. Erebeth has likely shared our every weakness with all her generals by now. If Magrum were killed, it might break the enemy's spirit. Though in truth that also seems unlikely. Normally Luskin forces are but cowards and raiders. They hit and run. This time, however, something is different. Some sinister force drives our enemies forward. And there is a pall lingering in the air. A dark cloud hanging over all the defenders and driving them to despair. Surely you must feel it. There is a shadow over Neverwinter. A curse that drags down morale and inspires our enemy. Perhaps on some level? The people of Neverwinter feel they deserve to suffer. I know. For all our sakes, I hope he is given that chance. I'll do my best to help you. He was once a great adventurer, you know. I wish you could have known him then. A true hero in all his magnificent glory. He is a different man now. Still a good man. But the bureaucracy and responsibility of leadership weigh heavily on him. He has grown somber and serious. And now, in Neverwinter's darkest hour, I fear he has given in to complete despair. Erebeth's betrayal, the guilt of Fenthic's execution, the slaughter of his people. Sometimes the burden on Lord Nasher is too great. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, they say. There is little we can do for him. You should speak to Hadrily. My instincts tell me that she is the key... Right. Let's do this. Beat down the invading forces. I have been waiting for you. These other warm bloods are weak. I do not trust them. They are weak. Like the ones you call Arabeth and Morgrim. They cannot stand against the creators. Now that Morag stirs within the Source Stone, Morgrim has unlocked the magic of the words of power. The old ones awake, and the world you know 
shall be no more. Three of the words are here in this castle. But there are four words of power in all. Morgrim has found the final word, strongest of them all. I came here to warn your people against Morag's return, but the warm bloods do not waste time trying to free me from this prison. It serves no purpose. The fourth word is close. I can feel its power. <laughs> Morgrim and Arabeth brought it here to this city you call Neverwinter. Bring the word to me. I am Hadralene, leader of the word slaves. <laughs> With the final word, I can break Morak's power and trap her forever inside the source stone. You must hurry. <laughs> With each passing hour, Morak's power grows. Soon, I will not be strong enough to stop my queen from awakening her people. So, stop the invading forces and get back that word of power. Yay. I shall do as you ask. As you ask. Man, I got a lot of gold now. Turns out I had a lot of stuff on me that was worth selling. Even though I kept a lot of it. I greet you! Wait, does that mean that I can't use magic devices? Weird. Welcome to this house of healing. Though I fear it has become naught but a morgue, there are more dead and dying here than I could cure in a lifetime.
You have come to the Cloak Tower in dark times, friend. The others of my guild have left to lend their spells to the battle, and I've heard nothing of them since. She had a feeling. And her reaction is neutral. Oh, I love that one. Wait, what? I'm casting a war spell to protect the castle, and every ounce of gold I can commit to it will make it stronger. Holy crap. What about this place? Hello? I'm the person suing us. Unfortunately, I have no nothing left that I'm willing to uh, like truly get rid of. But oh, oh. I like that. I mean, why not? That that looks pretty bad. Alright, let's try it on. Yeah. I look awesome now. And I don't I don't like this kind of cloak more than I do the one the full body ones, but I love the symbol on the back. I think it's the purple dragon knights. Okay. Hello. Uh huh. I think I remember something vaguely about Luskenites being in his shop. It is done. The rage of the Red Tiger unleashed! <laughs> Oddly enough, you can't seem to pursue that. The fact that they are in his shop. Hello? Uh, you can't really pursue it, so... Oh well. Yes. 
pretty hard. Was druid. Yeah, the druid's probably the druid tree. I wonder what he's selling. Is he? Yeah, he is. Let's go. I'm gonna check out a lot of this city. So the first time I did this, I kind of just rushed it, but now I'm gonna do it. Check a lot. Plus five ones, I'm willing to bet they'd cost a fortune. May the blessings of City's under siege, and all I care about is how good I look on the battlefield. And that's some. Damn. Met.
Crow. All right, let's get to the Seven Wars out. Yeah. I'm starting to think there's a lot of armor modifiers now. Or armor class modifiers. There's... Because the, the way the game works, certain modifiers cannot... Of multiple... Uh, multiple implementations of the same modifiers do not stack, like AC deflection. But there's uh, several different types of modifiers from what I've seen. There's dodge, natural, armor... Deflection, and I think something else. Not sure. Ew. Hello.
I shall do as you ask. Yeah, it is done. This diagram is a short summary of the basic plan of attack that the Luskan force is using during its assault on everyone. Arab of his war leader is commanding the army from Malgrim's sanctuary and extra planar domain crib of Malgrim. Supposedly can be reached by a portal located in a courtyard to the southeast. The final line reads, Beware the Balor, for he guards the entrance into Malgrim's sanctuary and will kill all trespassers. Scary. <clears throat> really, really scary. Same note. Okay. Let's go. I'm pretty sure that wasn't that captain dude wasn't the wizard I was looking for. No, he's not the wizard I was looking for. What about this one? I can't kill these things, so I gotta find the way. Dalen's just gonna keep dying because those things can't be killed. Just that now. Why are they all captains? Fighting a literal army here. Shit. I found past. I don't know. Remember? I don't know if I remember correctly. That little thing on the loading screen that tells you how the game's balanced to be as difficult, com difficult for you if you have compared to. Uh, the game, th the game is made to be as difficult as if you had a henchman. Yep. No lonesome note for you. Put this on, and I don't even know. 
just let's focus on I get I, I just the, the annoyance is I have to find the damn Dalin commanders. Damn blade barrier spell that a lot of these Luskin dudes seem to be able to do, do is way too powerful. For me. And and you th and people would think I'm over level. The thing because I came into this into this game starting at like level I don't know like like 15 I think. So you would think I'm over level, and yet things are still as difficult on normal difficulty. And this is apparently the way, and, and, and apparently, I don't know, maybe maybe the level scaling does work like that, who knows. Okay, so there's like multiple freaking house entrances. So it wasn't just the soldiers. These little bastards were part of it. Effortless to kill my ass. I'm serious. Those things hit pretty hard, and when they hit you, and mul when multiples hit you, ugh, I, when like more than one of them hits you, they just swarm you. It just gets crazy difficult. Whatever. I'm gonna rest here. After that, I'll check on the videos real quick, I guess. I, I've lost track of time getting involved in all this. Alright, I can still go about another 10 gigs, I guess. 10 or 11 gigs before I have to do the conversion. Awesome.
I'll bust your gun! Well, not necessarily what I was looking for, but another member of the le of the invading force down, I suppose. Okay, what about this guy? Not this place here. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. I found past Hello to you. Do as you ask. I can solve that. Now for the big one I've been waiting for. Death armor. All who oppose me, all who attack me will suffer. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This one. things I need to destroy.
is that? That's got to be where the wizard is. Let's go. Wait, what's this? Man, really? Death armor lasts less than I thought it would. Well, I can rest up to grant my spells in the house. So. Let's go to battle. Yep, it's a wizard. Holy crap! What did I get for the Balor? Not bad. Let's see. Oh, hey, he dropped something I shall too. Do as you ask. Wait, that's the it note. Done. I just... I instantly forgot, and... I was like, oh, hey. Man, I almost died. For that. That doesn't seem very worth it, really. Alright. What's in the barrel? It'd be just my luck if the barrel had some kind of... thing on it. To kill... Just to shave off the last six hit points I have. Alright. That's one down. There were two. T there were two total. So the ne the other chantry will be marked by the weird force field thingy around the door. Oh, and as a rule of thumb, from now on, I, uh, this is just me talking to myself right now, right here. No longer use death armor for extended periods of time. Only use it when I'm about to go into an obvious battle. Okay, I believe I... Wait, the door's closed. I don't have to use the menu again. I almost... I actually never uh, formally used the extra uh, hot bars, but I figure right now, why the hell not? 
sides. While I do enjoy having the menu be that big, it takes up a lot of screen. That could be taken up by action. And ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Uh watch this be something stupid. Oh eh. half and half, yes and no. Alright. Well this time I at least this this is the, this is a first. I, I killed Dale. Okay, let's rest up. And hit some more abandoned houses. So what's in my quest line? Never went under siege. Okay, I guess that's I just need to take care of one last wizard. And then we can get the hell out of here. And go see Arabeth and Malgrim. Yay. Wait, where's the answer? Wait, does he have anything on besides no? No. There's the answer. Yay, wait. Alright, let's go. Oh, I just thought of something actually. Having them use Dale in his target practice sometimes helps keep the heat off me, so I'm going to give them another target, and I'm going to do this. Okay, I took care of these five. There's still that one, and these over here. And whatever, I haven't filled, them, filled in on the map, so... Wait... Okay, that is not a wizard chantry, but wait, old man's home. Holy shit! How has this place not been invaded? Spare a coin, friend. I'll be sure to reserve that for later. Awesome. Also, that explains how he was able to get, keep them from killing him. Okay, let's see. That would leave... This area of the city. Let's go to this area. I'll, I'll, I'll work out this area, and then I'll probably stop do the conversion, I guess. What the hell is... Oh, crap, it's them. Oh, wait. The 
east side and the west side. I think the other one's over here. Mm. Well, far be it from me to refuse some experience. Let's see, there's just one house here. I love the way the death armor works. Lightning just strikes right at your head. The red tiger unleashed! See? Kept the heat off of me and Dave. Even though he had to die in the process. Sweet. I gotta go get Dalen. of it, it's the north and the south side. But there are no other war golems here, so I'm assuming this is the other side. That has a war golem on it. So I'll just turn this quest in after I take care of him, then I'll go to Erica, so... Yay. Let's go to Asgard's house. Man, they weren't really creative in their use of... Uh, of item descriptions, I, I believe. I don't know, it was kind of hit and miss, really. I mean... The, the way they do things is kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. But hey, nothing's perfect. Yes. There we go, yeah. I think there was a little girl, and there was something about, and there's, and there's probably something about saving her, maybe. Who knows? Well, what kind of an evil bastard would I be? Wait. What kind of an evil bastard would I be if I were to let this poor girl die? So. Eh, yeah, screw it. Which one of these is that? Oh, there it is. <coughs> oh, shit.
Dalen, this is what you get for standing in a freaking spell zone. In a freaking spell's attack zone. I do not feel pity for you. Let's see. House, 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 house. There's house everywhere. So where's Lupus? Okay, that was a bad joke. Uh, okay. I'll fetch Dalen, but for the time being, uh, this is where we stop. We've already taken care of the first side, now for the second side. 